Here's a simplified version of how water mixable oils work. Oil paints are made with two things. You have your pigments, which are your powdered version of the color, and a binder, which is linseed oil, or sometimes safflower oil, and occasionally both. Now, if I add some oil and water to a jar, you can see here how the oil sits on top of the water. Even if I try to stir these two together, they won't mix. With water mixable oils, an emulsifier is added, which is something that temporarily allows the water and the oil to mix. Different manufacturers have different ways of doing this, and their ways are kept very secret. All that they can guarantee is that they're non-toxic and that they won't degradate the paint. But here's an example of an emulsifier. Egg yolks have been used for centuries as a binder for pigment. Watch what happens if I add a bit of this egg yolk to my water and oil mixture. You can see now how everything is mixed together and there's no separation between the oil and the water. There is no water in water mixable oil paints. They're called water mixable because there's an emulsifier that temporarily allows water to be used. You can use water to thin your paints and most importantly, you can use it to clean your brushes with soap and water. And it also means that you can then avoid the toxic chemicals. Any water that you might choose to use during the painting process is going to evaporate very quickly within a couple days to a week, but the oils will still retain all the properties of traditional oils in terms of their drying time, their performance, their luster, and their permanence. It is, of course, possible to paint non-toxically with traditional oil paints, but I find this a little bit limiting. Many of the manufacturers of water mixable oils also make non-toxic mediums and thinners that replicate things like liquin and gamsol and turpentine. And for a classically trained oil painter like me, that's what makes painting with the water mixable oils very exciting.